Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, just give a little update of what I got going on out here at the farm. Uh, got my watermelons growing. Not too big, but got a couple in here. Ought to produce a few. Uh, made me a set of targets. I can do a little target practice out here. It's a six inch a four inch and a two inch uh, AR 500 steel little gong plates so I've been doing a little bit of target practice I've been working on uh, my outdoor shower I got one of the 8x8 eight eight beams from the barn that I'm tearing down in the front and I put it here on this pad bag of concrete in there that pad there it's like a rock it's not even concrete uh, it's like a rock somebody's chiseled out I don't know it's, it's pretty cool so I so I thought it'd be a cool shower pad so while I'm tearing down the barn and getting that's a nasty job man that's nasty as soon as you get sweating a little bit and all that dust gets on you it's you turn into a mud man so I've been taking a little outdoor shower before I even get in the truck and head home or get in the camper but put a couple valves on here I got a small one here to fill water buckets clean your feet off I got a hook ordered that's gonna mount on the side that I'll put this 100 foot hose on but let that one fill up in the Sun plug that in there into here close that valve or open this valve and that one close that one so the water will flow through this hose and come up here to the shower head and then you get some warm water and leave that sun out in the hose or that hose out in the sun it does uh, warm up the water a little bit put a valve here to kind of control the pressure and conserve the hot water but it turned out pretty cool I had one of the old slots where they something the way it was built uh, got me a little mini that one's a little big but I figure I put me a little shampoo bottle body wash bottle in there so got my outdoor shower going been working on this front barn tearing it down got my old 51 Ford tractor in there been staging up some of the barn siding let me turn a light on in here, but I've been tearing down the barn in the front, denailing all the barn siding, stacking it in here. So getting a little start on that, trying to keep the different kinds in their own stack. And I plan on using that for the inside of the house, decorating this camera to focus but yeah I've never really showed this I'll probably make a video on it eventually do a little bit more but it's a 51 Ford 8N tractor my grandpa used to have one just like this and as a kid I'd go out in the barn I'd always be playing on the thing I about drove it into my grandma's 77 Ford LTD LTD Landu or whatever she had one of them and I <laughs> climbed on that tractor and just hit that start button in gear and man she launched and luckily didn't hit the car and I never said a word about it just uh, but got this whole side here the barn tore off the whole front side here kind of fenced in here so I can't get you a, might go around to the other side and give you a better look but so it's getting down to the the timbers. Uh, I've been stacking some of the smaller wood siding in. Oh crap! In here, staging it up, and then I'll start a. Uh, I'll sort, put it in the back barn once I get all the longer pieces. Uh, I tell you what, I picked up this. It's like a denailer. You put it right here, have a nail sticking through, and it goes 
you know, like an air, like an air nailer, but it blows the nail, shoots a rod out of there and blows the nail out. So that's been real handy for denailing the siding. We got some of the, a couple of the big timbers piled up over here. I'm working on taking the lean-to down on the side. I'm just going to come back a little bit, give you a little better view of the front that I've tore off. And I don't really do heights. <laughs> I have that extension ladder up as high as it'll go up there. You know, if I can just focus on the job, get it done, and be safe, you know. I'm, I'm not going to go overboard on this. Uh, this front side is probably the weakest where it's been burned. Uh, and I actually talked to one of the old owners of this property. Got some details on it. So we motel, cocktailed it, cut all the power. Some craziness. Uh, I'll get back on another story with that. But I'm working on this lean to. I've got some more wood staged up over here, but uh, it's got some real nice wood, wood siding on this inside, the red that's probably one of the most desirable. Looks pretty cool. Let me pan it back first, but uh, you know if this thing will focus. So it had like a milking stall or something right here. I took it off. I got it leaned up over there, and it's all oak oak paneling. I thought I might make a little ladies' room or something, or a wall by the shower and stain that the same. But so I'm working on tearing this wall down here and dropping the roof. Here's one of the 8x8 eight eight timbers that was connected from here to there. I've dropped and it had another 8x8 eight eight here, there, and over there. So I've already removed all those and I've got just this one corner here kind of just sitting on that top section and just the weight on the wall so right now I'm trying to pick up as much of this little crumb rotten stuff that's on the ground back in here so I got less nails and stuff to step on when I drop this so hoping to drop it be able to kind of strip off the roof clean it all up and then start stripping all this siding off the side and if it's still standing structural enough, I'll start working on the front and then uh, pull her down. So I ended up, I found some, I went to the swap meet last weekend and the guy had some like crane cables, 7 8 diameter braided cables, two of them 20 foot long, rated for like 21,000 pounds. <laughs> so my plan is, I've been trying to bang out the dowels too to save as much as I can. My plan is to try to bang out the dowels here and uh, I'm going to get one of them big old cables and hook it up to my truck. There's a tree right on this back side so the wall's not going to fall, want to fall that way. It's already leaning this way on the inside. I'm thinking if I can just pull that timber down and get the whole roof to hinge, drop down, that's going to be my, my plan of attack and maybe strip the wood or the metal siding and start pulling those two by sixes down as the rafters but I ain't really found much a couple little doodads I've seen some of these little decorative things in some houses it looks like off a clock or something I've been able to save a couple of these wood pegs where everything's peg and mortise together but come along uh, it's pretty sketchy uh, here's that little horse or I don't even know what this thing is look like where they put an animal in there or, but I was able to save it pulled out in one piece yeah it's all oak I thought that could be cool stained and girls can go pee in it or put it around the shower but
Still got a little ways to go, but I think I'm about halfway there. So just an update. Uh, I hope I ain't boring. If you're still here, I appreciate you guys watching. I know this ain't my normal motorcycle content. And once I get this done, I'll be back at it. Probably harder than ever because I got a lot of bikes and stuff I haven't been able to show you guys. So uh, I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, no, uh, everybody's comments and stuff. I really appreciate that too. You got any tips or good wishes to me on this? I'm open ears. So uh, thanks for watching, guys.